Right. Second question on um, parole. The U.S. has had a humanitarian parole program that you opened for the four countries from Latin America. Um, that program is being challenged in court. This is embarrassing. In Texas. Can you talk about the implications of that case? I know that that type of parole has been a tool that the president has used repeatedly in the last two years, not just for the Southern Hemisphere, but for other humanitarian crises. Buddy, do you not hear how pathetic everything out of your mouth sounds? So, as we, as you know, that parole program that we put into place is working. You don't under, I didn't understand a one word you said. It's working. Uh, the. Um, uh, it, it's it's gone down. Those four countries crossing over, uh, coming coming to the border has gone down by more than ninety five percent. Ninety percent of the time, I have no idea what the f I'm talking about. And so this is a, a this is a program that the president was able to to utilize because of the tools that he had in front of him. Remember, Congress is not acting. Republicans refuse to take action. Exactly, you know it. Wait. Wait, what did you say? They put forth a comprehensive immigration reform bill on day one, and they have refused to work with us. So again, the president uh, put this put this program together, and again, it's working. And instead... Oh, look at me. I'm shaking in my little space boots. I don't believe you. Instead of con Republicans in Congress or Republicans working with us on fixing this issue or dealing with a real issue, the border, uh, they want to repeal a program that is actually doing what it is supposed to be doing. Oh, uh, uh, uh. uh, no, not really. I think so, but you'd be wrong.